On today's episode of Everyday Adventures, we are going to make, be making a craft um, with things that we found outside. So I took this um, a piece of cardboard and drew a unicorn head on it. We are going to take these sticks and these different colored rocks that we found outside and hopefully make this a beautiful unicorn with some hot glue and just kind of make a cool little pattern. So we're gonna get started now. Oh, before we get started though, remember to like and subscribe to our page, Everyday Adventures. All right, so we have, um, Lily's gonna break up some little sticks for us. We saw this craft, someone had taken driftwood and made like um, different like wells and, and fish and stuff like that, even a seahorse, but we're gonna try it with a unicorn. Well, they do want to start, what do you want to start with first? I want to start with the hair. Hair. So do we want to make the hair like rock colored or from rocks? Like, you know, you could do like blue here, white here. Okay, let's just do that? do that, yeah. Okay, so let me put some glue on. Yeah, I don't think that big one's gonna work. I think it'll be too heavy. So let's try to make, what color do you want this part to be? I want, oh, can we paint the rocks or something? We might can eventually, yeah, if you want to do that. Okay, I want this top to be purple so we can paint the rocks after okay. we, um, So just any color? Yeah. So. Rocks. Okay, well, scoot them off there and let me put some hot glue. Now remember to be very careful, okay? Yes. How about, you wanna do sticks for the horn? Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to break some sticks up. We'll have to make them small. Okay, now, where do you wanna go next? You wanna do some more hair? I wanna try to do um, this one. It would be challenging because there's big yeah. rocks. Well, do you wanna, do you think we should kind of go in order, maybe? Okay. Let's see. To make it easier on us? Yeah. Okay. So let's start right here. Top. Do that part first, okay? this little stick that's kind of curled. So we're gonna try to use that. If I can break it. If she right really spot. has a long eye, that's gonna be a long eye. <laughs> well, 
I tried to break it a little bit. Whoa. That's not too terribly off. I think. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, so now I just gotta get sticks around it. Can you break some little ones up for me to get right there? Mm -hmm. get it finished all right so we have everything done except for the nose do we want to do it with rocks Willie? I think okay. all right I don't know if we should put like a little thing there for the nostril like that or just mm, no maybe we should put a rock there well you're gonna have all rocks uh, yeah so maybe yeah, so we should put um, a um, little stick there. Yeah. Right, we'll see how that works. Alright, there's the little set. Now let's do some rocks, Lily. Alright, so this is the finished product before we paint it. I think it turned out pretty good, don't you think, Willie? Yeah. Okay, now for some painting. Okay, so now we are going to try to paint our unicorn that we made. Here's our different painting colors, our spouncers, our paint brushes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to use this Sharpie to outline uh, the unicorn so that we know where to stop on like the hair and stuff like that. That may or may not work, but we're going to try it. So you can kind of see where I put the little marks here. Maybe, just maybe that'll help us. Alright, so Whitley wants to start with the white first. I think it would be best if you used like a little brush and like outline the white and then you could come back with a spouncer and do that. Okay? Okay. We've put some white paint in this lid here. If you need me to outline it, I can. I think I'm gonna you. outline it with this one. Mm, that one might be a little bit too big. Let's try try this little green one. So our camera just decided to go off in the middle of our painting, but uh, we used the spouncer uh, once we got it outlined and then we came back in with the brush and kind of filled in the little holes. We're not going to make it perfect because it'll look cool um, without everything being totally white. So now Whitley, what do you want to go to next? I want to go to the hair. The hair. Okay. Let's do the hair then. What color are you going to do the hair? I want to do this part. Uh huh. This color purple? Mm -hmm. Purple <coughs> iris. All right. Go ahead. Got to be very easy, careful not to get it on. Like tippy toes. Yeah. So there we go. We have the first part of the hair done. That looks awesome, Whitley. Okay, so where are we going now? We're going this part that part the top here okay mm -hmm. you're gonna do it what color teal which mm -hmm. is probably called let's see it's called cloudless cloudless, cloudless. yep it's really cute okay you're gonna have to use another small paintbrush okay because um paintbrush yeah i don't think you can use a spouncer for this part okay all right do you need me to outline it for you i think you can probably use this one you want me to outline it Okay, we're going to the next part of the hair now? Mm-hmm. Okay, and what color you want to use? This is... Bin... Bin... 
Bimini Blue. Bimini Blue. Bimini Blue. Okay. I'll put a little bit in the lid here. Okay, you want me to outline it again for you? Yes, please. Okay. This is a big old paintbrush here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go for pink. P I N K. What pink is it? This mm -hmm. is Diva Pink. Ooh. These are all colors that we used for Whitley's My Little Pony headboard that we made. Whoa, I didn't realize that. I thought this was empty. <laughs> that is full. You okay. are crazy. I'll outline it for you. Here you okay. go, Mommy. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Okay, now we're going to paint the snout, and Whitley wants to do it this pink color. I don't know exactly what color this is because this is all washed off, as you can see. Um, but Whitley, don't have that on your finger. We're gonna mix a little bit of white with it so that it'll be the color Whitley wants it to be. Go ahead and paint the eye and the nostril. Okay, now we're going to use cool blue for the last part of the hair. I'll outline it for you, Whitley. So all we have left to do now, oh, look, it's so pretty, is the horn. Okay, so Whitley, what are you thinking for the horn? I'm thinking, I'm thinking the white and then we can do the sparkly over there. Okay, we're going back to white for the horn and I'm going to outline this for Whitley. So there it is. Now we just have to let it dry and we will put the sparkly coat on it. This is the glitterific. All right, so we have let it dry and now we're going to put the glitter on. Very exciting, I think you can use the spouncer. It's kind of thick, huh? fun project guys turned out really well we hope you enjoyed it look at the way it sparkles and shimmers in the light. horn yeah love it so you could flip it over this is a cereal box <laughs> um, you could flip it over and put a little um, hanger there and hang it on the wall but we are just going to prop it up in Whitley's My Little Pony Room let's go if you enjoyed this fun project, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And remember to make every day an adventure.